In this video, we'll write the Lewis structure for MgNO32, magnesium nitrate. Magnesium, that's a metal, and then NO, those are nonmetals. They're actually bound together tightly in what's called a polyatomic ion. So we have our Mg, and then we have two of these NO3s here. Because we have a metal and nonmetals, we have an ionic compound. In ionic compounds, the metal will transfer electrons to the nonmetals. So let's write Mg, and we'll put that in the center and then we'll put NO3 on either side. Mg, that's in group two on the periodic table, it has two valence electrons. And it's gonna transfer one electron to each of the NO3s. When it does that, it's losing negative charges, so it's becoming more positive. It lost two, so it has a two plus charge. The NO3, each one of those got one electron, and they have a negative charge. And this positive and these negatives, they're attracted, and they come together in an ionic bond. NO3 minus, that's called the nitrate ion. So let's replace that with a Lewis structure for the nitrate ion. So if our metal cation, it had lost an electron one to this nitrate ion and one to this nitrate ion. We should put brackets around the nitrate ions. And often you'll see them around the metal cation as well. And that makes this the Lewis structure for magnesium nitrate. What we've drawn here is what's called a formula unit. Magnesium nitrate, that's normally a crystal, and it's made up of a regularly repeating array of these formula units we've drawn. This is Dr. B with the Lewis structure for MgNO32 magnesium nitrate. Thanks for watching.